So in the last video, we fitted the neck to the body. Um, we've got quite a nice tight fit in the neck joint now. Um, so we're going to move on and the next stage is to get ready for fitting the fretboard. So the first thing I'm going to do to the fretboard is I'm going to cut it off at the nut slot and I'm going to trim it down to length at the other end. So I need about 15 millimeters past the end of the last fret slot. With that cut down and my centre marks re-established on the ends of the fretboard, I can work out where it needs to go on the neck. So what I'm going to do now is temporarily fasten it to the neck with masking tape and super glue and then I'm going to pin the fretboard onto the neck with some location pins. So that position I'm just going to drill a very small hole through the fret slot on the first and the last fret positions and then use a cocktail stick as a temporary location pin. And now I can mark down the side of the fretboard and take it to the bandsaw and trim it down. Well that's starting to look a lot more guitar like now isn't it? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reattach the template onto the headstock and finish off shaping that before we move on to installing the truss rod and gluing on the fretboard. So that's the headstock routed to shape. I've installed the truss rod and I've just covered it over with a little piece of masking tape. So now there's nothing for it but to glue the fretboard on. And I'm just going to use the 12 inch radius sanding block as a bit of a core to hold this down. So there it is, don't ever let anyone tell you that you can have too many clamps. So I've got a good squeeze out all along the length of that now, so I'm going to leave this overnight 
to dry up and we'll pick up again in the morning. So it's the next morning, the glue will be dry, let's get it out of the clamps. So I don't know what was on the pads of those two clamps, I'm hoping that doesn't take a lot of getting out. So five minutes on the router table with the big scary cutter has got us the neck shaped pretty close to where we want it. So the next step is to mark it up and cut away all the bulk of the waste on the back. So first off I'm just going to mark the heel on both sides. And then I have a measurement of the total thickness from the crown of the radius to the back of the neck at the first fret is 21mm and at the 12th fret it's 24mm. But what I'm going to do is measure from the edge of the fretboard and that will give me just a little bit to play with for final shaping. just strike a line between those two. Hopefully my three points will now join up. So that's all marked up. I'm putting a volute on this neck so I've left a great big lump at the back there which I'm, I will fettle down to the volute once we get to there. So now it's just a case of taking this to the bandsaw and chopping off the waste. Before I go much further I just want to take uh, a minute or so to go through some of the bits that will be going on the guitar and a little bit about my rationale for building this guitar. Basically I wanted an SG Junior for a long time um, but I also thought I'd see if I could build a, a guitar for around about the same kind of money you'd pay for a really good pickup. So I'd kind of given myself a budget of £150 to build this guitar um, I think it's going to come slightly over that, probably about 160, 165 in the end. But I'm quite close and I think I'll have a nice guitar when I'm finished. So in terms of bits, as cheap and, as cheap and cheerful as possible. So I've got some frets off Amazon. I've used the same guy before and they were decent, they were okay actually. To say they didn't cost a lot of money. Um, control knobs, the same. They're kind of the speed knob style. I didn't really like those, I was a big fan of witch hats but I put a couple of those on a Les Paul Junior that I built a little while ago and I actually quite like them. They're really, really nice to use. Strap buttons are the, the locking style ones. Um, axes are us, quite reasonably priced. For now, just a plastic nut. If I feel I need to, I can change that later. Truss rod cover I already had in stock. Bridge is an eBay special. Very basic wraparound bridge. Not a lot to go wrong with them. If I feel at some point in the future that I need a better bridge, it's something I can easily upgrade. Tuners are from Axis R Us. They're double deluxe. Um, style tuners with the phlegm green plastic buttons. Um, I've used these in the past and they're okay. For the money you can't really go wrong. Uh, electrics, jack socket I had. Pots are CTS 250k pots. I've actually, I had these knocking around. They've probably come out of a Telecaster at some point. The pickup, it's a Tone Rider. Hot 90, uh, big fan of Tone Rider pickups, put them in a lot of my stuff. The only problem is though, they don't do a dog ear pickup. I have a problem with dog ear P90s. You can either get one that's a fiver, or you can get one that's 120 quid, 
and there doesn't seem to be a lot in the middle. But what I found is I can use the Tone Rider pickup, which is about £40, and you can also buy a conversion base plate for the dog ear configuration and the dog ear cover. And it's actually a very simple job to swap over. It's just a matter of unscrewing the old base plate and soldering the new one on. Um, 10 minute job really. The only other thing is the truss rod itself um, and that's already gone into the neck but that's again is I believe I got it from Amazon um, double action truss rod. Okay so there's all the bits let's crack on with the build. So there we have it off the bandsaw. Um, I'm just going to clean this face up now, flatten it off and get this heel area where it needs to be. And the saw rasp will make short work of getting this flat and even. So that's the last of the rough shaping done of the neck. I've cut the heel in. I've roughly, very roughly shaped the volute. And the back of the neck is just a little bit fatter where it needs to be for its finished thickness. I'm going to call time on this one now. I'll be back very soon with my favourite part of every guitar build, which is carving the neck profile. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, there'll be a link popping up any second now. Um, and also a link to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't already done so, please do. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.